Guys, in the retina, you can see flame-shaped hemorrhages in many conditions. Let us look at all the conditions. Okay, basically flame-shaped hemorrhages means it will be superficial hemorrhage. That's why it will look like flame for you. If it is deep hemorrhage, you will see dot and blot hemorrhage. That we are not looking at here. Okay, we are looking at what? Flame-shaped hemorrhage. We will see it in many conditions. It's a superficial condition. Let's look at all the causes. Okay, so <clears throat> if there is traumatic lesion, okay, so you can have uh, a retinal hemorrhage, uh, you know, this is commotio retinae Berlin's edema, right? So there you can see flame-shaped hemorrhage. So you, this is commotio retinae Berlin's edema. Here you can see flame-shaped hemorrhage, okay? Actually in trauma, you will have commotio retinae Berlin edema, cherry red spot, etc. There you can also see the uh, superficial hemorrhage. So you can see flame-shaped hemorrhage in trauma, okay? Where uh, else can you see flame-shaped hemorrhage? You can see in retinal vasculitis. So that is, uh, what is it? It is inflammation, right? Inflammation is nothing but retinal vasculitis. Why will there be inflammation of retinal vessels? Because of Eels disease or secondary to uveitis, you can have. In clinical course of Eels disease, you have so many stages. The first stage itself, okay, retinal vasculitis, pay attention guys, you can have flame-shaped hemorrhage, okay? Then, this is the photo for, from Kurana, you can see this. Fundus photograph of a patient with Eels disease, you can see can you see flame shaped hemorrhage? Okay, sheets also can be there. Instead of flame, you can see sheets also. Okay, that is in retinal vasculitis. Then um, one more condition, let us look at retinal, uh, central, central retinal vein occlusion. So in this, there are two kinds, right? Non ischemic and ischemic. So basically focus here, guys, when the retinal vein is uh, occluded, so what will happen? That is CRVO, you have two kinds. You have the non ischemic kind and the ischemic kind. Right? In the non-ischemic kind, you have the flame-shaped hemorrhage, which is superficial, etc. So, flame-shaped hemorrhage, you will see in the non-ischemic kind of CRVO. However, in the ischemic kind, you will find massive hemorrhage, which will cause this blood, thunder, splashed tomato appearance. Okay? So, flame-shaped, where will you see? In the non-ischemic kind. So, this is more superficial. Right? If you see massive hemorrhage, that will be splashed tomato, blood thunder kind of thing. In CRVO also, you can have flame-shaped hemorrhage. You got that, right? So, one more cause for flame-shaped hemorrhage is CRVO. Then what is it? Hypertensive retinopathy. You remember you have superficial retinal uh, hemorrhages flame-shaped. Right? You remember, right? So, where does this occur? In the po posterior pole due to the disruption of the capillaries in the retinal nerve fiber layer, the hemorrhages disappear also they have written. Especially in grade 3 hypertensive retinopathy, you can see here flame-shaped hemorrhages in the grade 3. In grade 4 also, you can have the same hemorrhages. Okay? Look at this, uh, grade 3 hypertensive retinopathy, you will have flame-shaped uh, hemorrhages. Grade 4 also, you will have all the changes of grade 3 plus silver wiring and papill edema. Okay. So, did you understand flame-shaped hemorrhage, where will you see in grade 3 hypertensive retinopathy, also grade 4 also you will see, isn't it? Malignant hypertensive retinopathy also, you can see uh, flame-shaped hemorrhages. Same, hypertensive retinopathy, what is malignant? Basically, this is a condition where it rapidly progresses. Otherwise, there is nothing much in this. Okay. Rapid, uh, I mean, what is this? Expression of its rapid progression. That's it. Same hypertensive retinopathy. Rapid progression into serious degree. Okay. In a patient with relatively young arterioles undefended by fibrosis. Again, here they are talking about posterior pole due to disruption of capillaries in the nerve fiber layer. Same thing. So, guys, uh, you have seen so many conditions. It's not over. We still have a few conditions. Yes. Oh, where are we? Wait. This one. Uh, yeah. So, what did we finish? Hypertensive retinopathy you saw. Now, let us move on. Diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy in the non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. And then only it becomes proliferative, right? In the non-proliferative itself, you would have seen flame-shaped hemorrhages, which are obviously superficial, right? They appear because of capillary leak. Then. In anemic retinopathy, that is retinopathy because of blood disorders, there also you can see uh, flame-shaped hemorrhage. Okay, superficial flame-shaped hemorrhage, retinal hemorrhage. And you, here you also have some pre-retinal uh, retinal hemorrhage, is it? Okay, so basically this is what? Blood disorder, right? That is only anemic retinopathy, okay? So now can you summarize all the causes of uh, flame-shaped hemorrhages, guys? Oops, flame shaped hemorrhage. So, in trauma, you can see along with the Berlin edema, commotio retinae, along with the cherry red spot, etc. Then you will see in uh, retinal vasculitis, example, Eels disease. 
<clears throat> then um, CRVO, the non ischemic kind, then uh, hypertensive retinopathy in the grade 3 and grade 4, you can see. Also in malignant hypertensive retinopathy, guys, focus. Um, then diabetic retinopathy, guys, um, you can see retinal hemorrhages. Here, actually, you can see both superficial and deep. So you can see dot and blot, and you can also see the flame shape. Okay. Okay, then anemic retinopathy, blood, blood disorders also you can see uh, flame-shaped hemorrhage. So guys, it's not just they'll have flame-shaped, they can have other types of uh, hemorrhage also. Like this can also have pre-retinal, here also pre-retinal they have mentioned. In diabetic, you saw both superficial and deep uh, hemorrhages, right? Then um, uh, what else? In CRV or non-ischemic, then that can become splashed of tomato kind of a thing, right? So what else guys? So you in this video, you have looked at all the causes of flame-shaped hemorrhage in the retina okay that's it guys so remember flame shape means it is superficial that's it bye bye